Okay, so good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, I can see that we have uh, some people online already. Good evening, Kelechi. Thank you for these opportunities. Yes. Um, okay, so my name is Victoria Erukonoako, and I am a wife, a mother, and a business owner. And I am forever proud. So I am here tonight to share uh business uh building skills with everyone okay so um uh, i like to quickly uh, talk about my uh experience so far when i left forever and when i came back into the business okay so um one of the things i want to quickly talk about is the fact that you know um, we all need uh business skills in in any venture anything at all that we're doing we need uh, business skills, okay? We need to, to learn how to build uh, whatever business it is you, you, you're building. Not to talk of network marketing. Network marketing, you know, it's a business on its own as well. And it's a big business. So we need to learn the skills. So um, for me, when I left uh, Forever, I was in Forever. Uh, I started Forever 2001. And I left, you know, the business. I left forever. And uh, after doing it for five years, I left. And I came back after five years. And, you know, so when I came back, the reason, one of the reasons why I left the business was the fact that I didn't have the skills to build, you know, the business. All I was doing then was chasing after uh, the money and all that. So I never got any skills at all. Okay. So, um on uh, getting, uh, after a while, you know, uh, when I left the business, I came back and I told myself that I'm going to learn, you know, how to build this business, okay? So I'm going to learn the skills that, you know, I need to learn, okay, to nurture the business and all that, okay? So when I got back, I started reading books, I started doing some certain things, you know, attending trainings, you know, getting to know what I am doing. As I learning from people, you know, um, ahead of me in the business I, I started looking at people that are doing well in the business building the business the right way as i started looking at what they were doing and all that so i started learning from them and also learning from people internationally and all that okay so if we talk about uh, business building skills let's let us look at it like this that you know if um, you you get um, like i want to use our evil brothers like you know they have people learning you know, uh, the work that they're doing from them, okay? So those boys learning, sometimes they spend seven to 10 years, okay, learning, you know, the skills that they need to run that business and all that. So they spend 
like quite like a, a long time, a very long time with you know their boss or you know their ogre, you know, as it is said in Nigeria and all that. So it takes that so long to learn, you know, their skills. And that's why you find out that they never fail. Like even if I know at least you know, 60 to 70% of them, they succeed in their business. So it's the same thing here. So when you come into this business, you need to learn the skills, okay, to build the business as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to share tonight. And I'm sure that, you know, we all have our virals, we have our papers, we need to write because, you know, sometimes you join a training like this, you're not writing. If you don't take notes, what do you go back to? Okay, so when you come here with your pen and your paper, you take notes because it's better to put something down, okay? Because there's a saying that the uh, the faintest handwriting is better than the sharpest memory. So take notes so that you can go back to your notes, you know, and, you know, refer back to it again. Okay, so um, we have seven skills, okay, seven steps to becoming a network marketing professional. Okay, so what are the steps? You know, I've read, you know, GoPro. I've read the book. And that is why I am here to share, you know, this tonight with everybody. Okay, so the first steps, you know, we have is finding prospects. That's the number one, you know, steps in, in becoming um, a network marketing professional. And also the second one is inviting, inviting prospects, presenting, follow up, closing the prospects as well getting them started, and also promoting events. And so I, I've interacted with some FBOs. I found out that, you know what, you know, some people don't really know this, okay? And so um, I decided that, okay, this is what I'm going to, you know, we decided as, you know, uh, the servant leaders in the business that we need to take, you know, um, a lot of, uh, we need to train on this, uh, you know, topic and all that. So, Right now, I'm going to talk about finding prospects. And that is the first step I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about all the other steps. You know, subsequent time, I think uh, other FBOs, other leaders, okay, will take, you know, uh, some of the topics and all that. So I'm only going to talk about finding prospects tonight. Okay, so if you're online this evening, can you give me, you know, a thumbs up or love or emoji? Or love emoji thumbs up whatever it is just give it to me i need that vibration right now thank you so much thank you thank you okay so and i really assure you tonight that you're going to get value from this training you're going to get value yeah okay so um the first thing you need to 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 do or, or to be is to be a good person you need to go be a good person before you know, you can, you know, embark on, you know, finding prospects because if you don't have that, if you're not a good person, if you, you are this guy, I, I find out that some people, you know, frown, you know, they don't smile. You see them, they're always frowning and it takes how many muscles to frown over 57 to 60, you know? So it's always better, you know, to, to smile. Like in our business, they said, if it doesn't make you smile, change it. Yeah. You know, so smile at all times because, you know, if you're not that kind of person that is good, if you don't have good attitude, you know, you can't go far in the business. OK, so you need to to be good yourself first. You need to be kind, you know, and all that before you can, you know, embark on finding people because people don't want to, you know, uh, meet people that, you know, will give them bad energy or bad vibes. Okay, so everybody, you need to dress nicely. You need to, you know, look good on your own and all of that. So you need to be a good person first before, you know, you can embark on finding prospects because there's a quote that says that, you know, the best, I mean, there's a quote that says that, um, your attitude determines your altitude, okay? So, and in this business, you cannot do well at all if you don't have a good attitude, okay? So, it's one of the key things that we need to, to have. If you're always frowning, I think you need to change it. Go, into the, uh, go to the front of the mirror in your house and start smiling for 21 days and you get used to smiling, okay? So that people can be attracted to you. And so what is prospecting in network marketing? 
I would like to quickly, you know, define it because before we go on, okay, so prospecting, prospecting involves the process of searching for and connecting with new potential customers as you work to convert them to your, you know, newest customers. Okay, so what, what you know, this is saying is it involves, is a process of searching. It's just like, I would like to use this, um, like uh, people who mine gold or something like that, you know, they keep digging, digging and digging and all that until they find the gold or diamond. Okay, it's the same thing with our business. Okay, so you have to keep, you know, looking for, and that is why we need to continue to find prospects. So it's a process of searching for and connecting with new potential customers. Okay, as you know, you work to convert them to your newest customers. Okay, so I did have these skills before. I tell you that before, when I joined this business in the past, even when I came back again into my business, I used to be so scared, like scared of talking to people. Like when I see some people, it's like, oh my goodness, how am I going to approach this person? You know, I, I used to be so scared, you know, and all that. But you know what? I just started doing it somehow because I, I got to know that, you know what? If you don't do this, if you don't approach people, if you don't connect with people, if you don't connect with new people, you don't have a business. And don't forget that our business entails you getting new people involved in the business. Okay, new people getting into the business are the lifeblood of our business. So without having new people in your business, imagine, you know, somebody, you know, waking up one day and they tell you that they don't like your face. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And they leave your business and, you know, you're there, you are not expanding your list, you don't have any other person and maybe the person leaves your business. So what will happen to you? It's like standing on a beautiful carpet and somebody pulls up the carpet under you. And then you fall. That is how it is. So for you to, to guide yourself, okay, against, you know, uh, the attrition in our business, you need to continue to find people to join, you know, your business, okay, so that you can con convert them. So we're saying new potential customers, potential, not that, you know, when you meet with people, you're connecting with people. Connecting with people doesn't mean that they have joined your business. No, connecting with people means that, you know, you are trying to expand your contact list so that you will have more people in your, I mean, so that you will have more, you know, contacts on your, in your phone or your contact list and all that, or who, your who do you know list so that you will have more people. So you won't run out of people. Okay. So our job in this business is, like I said, is a process of searching. So when you're searching, you continue to add educate people you know even we're not talking about that you're meeting people the first time and you're telling them about your business no just get the contact first add it to your phone okay to your contact continue to expand the list and all that okay so um for network marketing and direct sales most people first look for prospects you first of all underline it look for prospects within their own networks so what are we talking about? Looking for prospects within your own networks is, you know, we talk about your family members, your friends, you know, and the people you know already, okay? So you look for them within, okay, first, before going out, okay, to get other people, okay? So as we keep going, you will hear more about how to connect with people. So the richest people in the world, they look for and build networks and everyone else looks for work, okay? So we're not saying that people should not get a job. Robert Kiyosaki, quotes, the quote is from Robert Kiyosaki, okay? He's saying that, you see, I read a book, read that, quote that, or something. He said, you know, when people, you get a job first, that job, don't stay in that job for too long. You know, five years of working, save your money and start up a business of your own right? That is what we're saying. We're not saying people who are working are not, you know, doing the right thing, you know? So everybody starts from there. But your mindset should be like, okay, I want to work for five years, you know, or if you want to work all your life, it's okay. You know, it's a choice and all that. But what he's saying is that the richest people in the world, they look for and build networks and everyone else looks for work. So, you know, 
um, somebody said something that the, the richest people, the wealthiest people in the world, they shake more hands than any other person. So what do you think they are doing? They are networking, right? And I remember, you know, when I was at my son's uh, graduation, okay, uh, my son's uh, graduation, and then I, I got 14 contacts from that, that uh, I mean, not graduation, uh, matriculation. I got 14 contacts from there. Okay, so when I got back home, you know, I sent them messages like, oh, it was really nice meeting you and all that. Thank you for trusting me with your contacts and everything. I didn't say anything other than that. But so from there, we kept in touch. I started providing value to these people. I started, you know, messaging them, you know, um, finding out how they're doing, keeping in touch. And, you know, I started nurturing the relationships, you know, and all that. And so there was this particular lady at some point, she started sending me, you know, some Bible, uh, devotionals and all, all that. That. So we got talking one day when I was just asking her, how are you doing, sis? And then the next thing she said, oh, Victoria, how is everything? I said, fine. Our children, you know, they're in the same class. Okay. And they came back home for, um, to do IT and all of that. And I, I was looking for a place for my son. And then the next thing I said, sis, is your daughter working now? Has she gotten a place? And then the next thing she said, yes. That she, she started working immediately. She came back home. I said, oh, it's been two weeks. My son came back and no, no, no place to do IT yet. And she said, why didn't you tell me all along? You know, and all that. And immediately she said, don't worry. Let me quickly get in touch with somebody. And she calls, you know, she put the call through to somebody. And then the next thing, you know, she said, call this number let your son send his CVs and all of that. I tell you, that same day, my son sent his CV and the owner of the place said, come and start your, your, your IT and all that. Imagine if, you know, I didn't know this person. Imagine if I didn't take her number on the day my son was ma uh, matriculating. Imagine if I didn't get that contact. So you see, the richest people in the world, they look for and build networks and everyone else looks for job, for work. So you see, if I did not do that, at the end of the day, I wouldn't have gotten my son a place to do his IT. So this is what we're talking about, you know? So at the end of the day, you know, when you meet people, you build relationships with these people, okay? And when you build relationships, what do you think will happen? You're providing value for these people, you know? And then, you know, um, when you keep providing value, to these people, you know, you don't ask them to give you anything, but when you keep providing value, one day when you need them, they'll be there for you and all of that. So it's important. Somebody like uh, Harvey McKay, he said something like, dig your well before you are tasty, okay? Dig your well before you are tasty. That means, you know, build relationships. You understand, before you start asking them for anything, before you need them, build the relationship before you need these people. So it's so important, okay? And then when you do this, at the end of this, so where do we find these prospects for our business? Where do we find them? You know, we have to go back to our who do you know list. Our who do you know list is so, so important, you know, for us to have, okay? So I'd like to show you my who do you know list. Mine is here. And I have all my, okay, recently I got a new one. I started writing all my, um, you know, names of my prospects, the people that I have met and I have spoken to. I said hello to them. Hi, one way or the other. And, you know, like that. So I have my, my book here. This is my book so that I won't forget. Because most times what I found out is that, you know, when you put their names, you know, you know in your phone, at the end of the when you get back home, you forget. Okay, so immediately I'm coming, like as I get back home like this, my subconscious tells me, go back and quickly write down the names of the people that you met. And then write down what's the conversation you had with them and all of that before, you know, you, uh, you got their contacts. Okay, so that is what I do. But the first thing is you already have contacts on your phone. You know, things are changing now. You already have contacts on your phone. When I was listening to Holstein Bob what, some other, you know, some times ago, he said something like, you know, the, the number you have on your phone, 
that that the numbers can buy you a Mercedes Benz if you decide to sit down and work on your contacts. So your contact list is so, so important, okay, for you to have, you know, beside your bed. When I'm going to sleep, it's beside me. My husband is always saying, now, you know what, take this book away from here. But I hold it to my chest because that is where I have everything. Even my phone, I don't joke with it, okay? I only have one phone because I am always guiding myself so that I don't lose yeah, I won't lose my phone and all of that because if I carry two things or three at the end of the day, I might end up losing the most important, you know, uh, item that I have. So I, I have just one phone. OK, so that I can keep an eye on it, because the day you lose your phone, sometimes like they've ripped out your heart, you know, that kind of thing. So your who do you know list is so, so important. I tell you, there are two types of prospecting, OK, that we have, you know. The two, two types of uh, prospects, rather, okay, or prospecting, you know, one market, we have the one market, the one market are the people you know already, the your, your mother, your father, your sisters, your sister's friend, your uncle, your uncle's friends, you know, all, all those people, they are the people you already know. Those people are your one market. You start to practice with those people first. Okay, even if they don't get to join your business or they don't get to, to buy your products, just start talking to them. Okay, first, before, you know, going into the cold market is so, so important. Okay, so this is it. And then the cold market is um, people you don't know at all. You don't know these people. Okay, you don't know them from anywhere. You know, they are strangers. You know, those days they tell us don't meet strangers, don't talk to strangers. So we grow up with that mindset of not talking to strangers. And at the end of the day, you get into network marketing and it's like, wow, I have to face, you know, this reality of the fact that, you know, I grew up with not, you know, um, meeting or, or getting to talk to strangers and all that. Now I have to face it. And then some people draw back, you know, when it's time to do that. But without this, you cannot go far in the business, okay? So finding prospects is one of the gateway skills. I mean, gateway skills that will unlock that, you know, um, thing that you're looking for in the business, okay? And also, you know, when you need to do all of this, you need to get your diary, like I said, you know, get a diary, Start writing or your who to you know list and start updating. And if you don't have at all, you can start with a hundred to three hundred name list, if possible, a thousand to three thousand names. Okay, because some people will tell you that they don't know anybody. You just you know tell them, give me your name, the names of people you know. They just give you like ten to twenty. If you want to have your wedding or you want to have a birthday. You can write all the lists in this world, then you start canceling, you know, and all that. And at the end of the day, when it comes to your own business, you don't know people. So you have to, you know, you know people. It is said that, you know, at the age of 18 to 20, you already know over 2,000 people. So you can't say you don't know, you know, 100 to 300 or 1,000 to 3,000. We all know people. So get down, put down the names of everybody, pour it down into your book and start going through them one after the other from A to Z. Start to make the calls, start, start to, you know, find out how they're doing. If you are this kind of person that, you know, you don't use to check on people, you are just, you love your space. You don't like people coming around you or that kind of thing. You know what? When you join this business, you have to, you know, learn how to do that. Okay, I, I listened to a reporter one time like that. He said, you have a neighbor, your neighbor just had a baby. You didn't visit your neighbor or your neighbor is moving out of, um, you know, or maybe they did something and you never used to visit them. When you join network marketing and you have to now get to meet people, you cannot meet them. Even if you meet them, they will first of all show you first before you can now start building, you know, that relationship or repairing, you know, what you have damaged in the past and all that. So our business is about people. So you can't afford, you know, not to, you know, learn the skills. Okay. So you need contacts and you need, you know, to write them out. Okay. And also, you know, one market, who are your one market? Old school, your, your family members, you know, 
you can see these people here. We all have family members. We are even Nigerians. Our culture, you know, um, allows us to, you know, um, meet with our family members, extended family, uncles, aunties, aunties, um, friends, or whoever, and, and all that. So we need each other. You know, in Yoruba language, they said there's something, there's a saying that in your lasho, the people you have are the rapper that, I mean, yeah, the people that you have, they are your, your covering, yes, your covering, okay, and all that. So at the end of the day, you need all these people around you, even if they are, like I said, you know, don't prejudge anybody, okay, and don't worry, the aim and the, or the goal is not for them to, to buy anything, the aim or the goal is for you to practice so that you you will start to get to understand what you're doing, okay? And then the aim is to have their contacts, okay? The aim is for you to expand your contact list, okay? And all that. So never mind. The aim is not for them to buy anything now, okay? But gradually, after a while, you know, those who will need you will definitely come back to you. And there are things, okay, from the other skills, you know, the other leaders that are going to come later on, they will teach us how we're going to, you know, uh, build relationships because you know is a huge topic on its own even this finding prospects is a very big topic on its own we can't even finish treating it today okay so old schoolmates neighbors school um i put school gate there okay there are people at the school gates your children you're dropping them in school are you just dropping your children in school and just driving off no when I, I started my business again, when I came back into forever again, you know, I intentionally wait for people. I bring my children to school on time so that I can meet those early parents that will be going to work or parents that would like to go drop their children on time or something. I leave until the last parent to drop their children. And I can't even, you know, I can remember that I got some parents join my business at that, you know, some, you know, years ago and some also you know are my customers today okay so neighbors your neighbors your 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 old old neighbors your new neighbors your church members your gym you know people okay you go to the gym you know people they know you what are you doing with them okay and also your doctor my doctor is my customer I know the products that he buys. If he doesn't come every month, I'll ask him, doctor, how far? I've not seen you. You haven't bought some things in a while. And you will start laughing, you know. So, and also your, your nurse, social media. Social media now is the order of the day. You know, everybody is online. If you go online right now, you know how many millions of Nigerians or people all over the world are online today. So you can actually build your network as well on social media. People who know you already, especially if you're you're good in commenting on posts. These days, you know, we have power hour. They are teaching us how to go on social media. They are teaching us how to, you know, comment on people's posts. If you're this kind of person, you post on social media and you don't, you know, reply to people's comments or they, they comment on your post and you don't reply or you don't even comment. Social media is, let me put it in, in the real terms, like, you know, if you put, if you comment on my post, I comment on your own. If you don't comment on my own, I won't comment on your own. That is how social media is. I could remember one certain time like that. There was somebody that I don't, I, I don't use to comment on his post. You know, the day I commented, like congratulations or something, I saw him that he went back to comment on all my previous posts. They're like, really? You know, that kind of thing. So you must show up. Just like you show up physically, show up also on social media. Visibility, let people know you, okay? There was a day I was in Festac. I was in the market in Festac. And then I saw a lady, she was screaming my name. Victoria, oh, how are you? She was so excited. I was like, I don't know this lady. By the time we finished, and I said, okay, please park. She now parked at the filling station. I went to meet her. I said, where did we know? Where did we meet? I don't know. She said, ah, ah, on your birthday, I commented. You know, my name is so, 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 and so. You know, she even went online to show me her name and all that. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I am now an influencer. So you can imagine, you know, social media, 
is the new TV, is the new NTA, is the new all right TV and all of that, you know? So, and, you know, by the time I got to know her more, I started chatting with her at some point, you know, she would post some things, I would reply, I would talk, you know, and all that. Guess what? She bought two C9 from me. She did C9 twice from me. I can go on and on and on and tell you all the customers, team members that I got from from, from social media. It's amazing. Okay. So referrals as well. You can get referrals as well from people. Okay. From your uncle. Those who are saying, no, I'm not interested in the business. Don't worry. Or I don't want your products. Ask them to refer you to people. Do you know somebody that is looking for an extra income? Can you introduce them to me? By the time you do that, your contact list will, will be so much. Okay. Also your friends, your children's friends. My daughter gave me a downline, a business partner from her school years ago. And you know, those people, they are still in my business till today. It's amazing. The business is a fun business. If you have passion for it, if you love, you know, forever, if you believe in it and believe in yourself, you will enjoy doing it, I tell you. You will love to meet people. Our business is about meeting people, okay? And so that's why I said you must be a good person before you can do that, okay? So club members, if you are in a club, meet people, okay? Network with them and all that. You are in a club already. So what are you doing there? I could remember one day my husband was playing tennis, okay? And then he said he played tennis with somebody um, at the at the club. I won't mention the name of the club. And he said that, you know, by the time he played the tennis with somebody and when they finished, they introduced, they were now introducing themselves. And guess what? The person was the MD of Zenit Bank at that time. And so I had an issue okay, with my accounts. I mean, I went to transfer money and then they debited me. And you know what? And it was at the end of the year when I needed to qualify for chairman's bonus. And my 325,000 was hanging there in Zenny Bank. I came back home, I went to, to the lady. I said, excuse me, um, you know, I would like to write so that they can reverse this money because you know, I, I need to finish something with this in my company. And the lady said, oh, sorry, nobody is going to see whatever you're writing. It will take two weeks or three weeks for your money to be reversed. I said, what? You know, and all that. I came back home and I told my husband, I said, you know what? You know the MD of Zeni Bank. Go and call him now. Tell him that they should reverse my money. And I tell you, my money came back. I was, I was in the bathroom you know, on, on a Sunday morning and somebody, I got a call and the person said, are you Mrs. Victoria Kunako? I said, yes. Uh, we're told that uh, we're debited and you haven't gotten your money. Okay. Uh, so we're going to work on it. We're working on it. Our boss called us and all that. And at the end of the day, guess what? On Monday evening in the night, I was in the kitchen. My money drops. What do we call that? It's still networking. Who do you have? Your network is your network. It might not be money that they will give to you. It might be something else, okay, that you might get from them, okay? So it's important to connect with people. It's so, so important. And also we have what is called um, the cold market. Cold market also can be networking on purpose. You're networking, you have to network on purpose, you know, like you're going out on your daily activity and it's in your subconscious that you must talk to somebody. You must meet somebody today. I must, you know, connect with someone today, you know? So, that is networking on purpose. You network on purpose because there's a reason why you're doing it. Also, you can do exhibitions. When you do exhibitions, you go for exhibitions, you meet people, okay? And you get their contacts. I mean, sometimes I go for exhibitions and I don't sell anything. But my main aim of going for exhibition is to, you know, meet with people because I love meeting people. When I meet them later on, I know what to do with the contacts. And I know that at the end of the day, some will yield a profit or something. I will convert some to customers or business owners and all that. And if I sell anything at the exhibition, oh, it would be amazing. Like, it's a bonus for me. 
okay? So intentionally go shopping. Sometimes I intentionally go shopping because I want to meet people. So intentional, you be intentional. Go shopping. You don't need to, you don't have to spend money. You can go window shopping, okay? Or maybe when you are in the marketplace, there are people there, okay? So you meet people everywhere. I met a lady in the, in the, in the place, in the shopping mall where I go, I buy things. And that day I entered, I didn't want to buy anything. I just wanted to meet people. And the girls there, they know me because I'm they are a very good customer to them. So they don't even, you know, say anything when I'm doing what I want to do. So I entered this place and I saw this lady and she was buying a dress and I actually have that dress. And I commented on it. I said, this is beautiful. Do you know I have the same dress you're wearing? And she was like, oh my goodness. So how, how is it? I said, oh, these guys, they sell good things and all that, you know. So by the time she wore the dress, she came back, she said, oh, because, you know, I have a party. You know me now. My husband is going to start complaining. You know, all those things. So by the time we finished having our conversation and she was now going, I said, sis, I would like to connect with you because you can never know tomorrow. And then we connected. She gave me her number. Like, I, I I will check up on her sometimes. How are you? How was your party? Did it go well? You know, that kind of thing. You have to be good at all these things. So at the end of the day, she said, oh, yeah, it was nice. To cut the story short, do you know that this lady, you know, one day she needed some product for weight loss. I sold C9. I sold F15. Two, three products. And she paid 300K, three different products into my account. Sorry, I need to drink my ad. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So she bought the products from me. She bought products from me, 300K. I also signed up another one again, you know, from the same place. And one day I met the owner of the shop, of the store. And she said, I love, she saw me collecting somebody's uh, contact and we're gisting. Even she also got into the gist and all that. Then the next thing she said, I love when women come to my place and they network. This is the reason why I love my place. I was like, oh, really? Sis, that's really nice. I've met a lot of people in your place. And, you know, some of them are my friends there and they're my, you know, customers as well and that kind of thing. So she said, yeah, she's very happy with it. So don't go somewhere without having the intention of doing your business. Because like I said, it's the gateway. Finding prospects is the gateway to your business. So go to the market and meet new people. I love going to the market. Even if it means me buying, you know, sometimes we, you know, I got into the mood of like, eh, I'm now a madam or something. I am good in the business already. I don't need to be going all these things. My business started going down. Because I, I got a, an, a house um, a house assistant and she she was always doing everything. She would go to the market, do the shopping, come back, help me to do the cooking, sweep, do all of that. I started seeing myself that I'm hiding behind social media. Because it's another thing. Physically, you need to meet people as well. You can combine the two together, traditional plus online. Okay, they work both hand in hand. And so I started sitting down at home. At some point, I was like... I am not expanding my contact list, Victoria. And that was how I started going out. Started going to the market. I told her one day, don't bother. Don't go to the market again for me. I want to be going. And guess what? I met a lady in that same market that today, today she buys products for me. Like she doesn't just buy any kind of product. She buys like 200, 300K worth of products. So imagine if I was doing my dam, I was sitting down in the house. Do you think that that would have happened? No, okay? So also your tailor, I can tell you the stories on and on and on, all the places that I've gone to. I was in the salon yesterday. I made my hair yesterday in the salon. As I was there, uh, before you leave, I would have planned what to say and all that. And the lady was going, I came, I, I went with my flyer and I said, Madam, I would like you to have this flyer. I would like your number. I would like to have your contact. I got three contacts from that salon. Or also those, you know, you, that provide you with um, maybe, a, you know, various services it can be your mechanic. You know, you think they don't have money. The people, all these people, they have money. You think they don't have, they have. Even if it's one bottle of gel, they can buy. Your DSTV technician, 
you know, I could remember one day a guy came to fix a lumaco or net for us in the house. And my husband got, you know, talking to him. That guy spent over 100K buying supplements. You think they don't have money? They do. Okay. And also restaurants. I was in New York one day. Um, that was in 2016. I met a lady called, um, I met a lady, my, 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 one of my amazing downlines business partners she's cute she's lovely everything respectful and all that in a restaurant oh my goodness our children were outside we just got talking like you're not living in america you know we got talking i said oh i said that is your children she said yes and they're outside and this door is shut and you let them out there that's the conversation that i started i said you know what when we finish talking i said go bring them in because if anything happens and guess what? She brought them in before we parted ways. She gave me her number. I also gave her my own. We got back to Nigeria the same night. And I called her. How was your trip and all that? At the end of the day, after five years, she said no to me for five years. After five years, she's in my business today. She's in my business consistently. She's a supervisor and she's doing her business. Also at parties. This morning, I have supplied products to somebody I met at a 90th birthday party. This morning, she's even in my team right now. I'm going to have a product launch for her next week in Lekki. So networking events as well. You can go to networking events, okay, where they are having conferences, you know, seminars. You know, go to places where you can meet people. Samples of your products you can give out, you know, to people as well that can also be a gateway to unlocking somebody's heart or likeness to you okay you know also when traveling i was in uh, south africa you know in february on our way back in transit in kenya i met a lady a beautiful lady you know i'm attracted to people that i love i you know like-minded people people I, I would like to have in my business and all that and i got to me, you know, meet this lady. Oh, what's your name? You're so beautiful. I love your outfit and all that. Guess what? We talked. We exchanged contact. I came back from India, you know, recently. That was two weeks ago. And I posted something on my status. I said, if you love to travel, um, if, you, you, if you're somebody like me that loves traveling, you know, I am looking for people like me that I can coach, teach and all that. So if you're one of those people, you know, you can comment teach me. And then she commented, teach me. Guess what? I had a one-on-one -on -one for her. And, you know, immediately after everything, she said her business, is, she's having challenges in her hair business, hairline business and all that. And that she would like to do the business. And she sent me her details. She lives in Uganda and I have signed her up. Right? So it's amazing. When you are in the bus as well, even if you don't have a car, it's even better not to have a car first. You, or if you have a car, drop it and then take a walk. You meet people when you're walking more than when you are driving. Because sometimes I meet people, I tell you, I park. My team members, they know me. I park my car. I will park unless I'm on the express. Okay, if I'm not on the express and in a place that I can easily park, or if I'm in traffic, I get contacts from people. Okay, and also now this is a typical or uh, uh, somebody. This is typical of a uh, of a uh, uh, um, social media uh, team member that I got. I didn't even know that she knew me right from you know childhood. I didn't even know, but somehow somehow her friends friends friends. The way you add people on on social media, you know, friends 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 and everything. I didn't even remember. I didn't know when I added this beautiful lady, you know, as a friend. You know, sometimes they get to follow you and sometimes you, you add them and all that and they, um, you know, join you. So I met this beautiful lady on Facebook. You know, I wrote something on Facebook that I'm looking for hardworking ladies who are interested in, you know, forever living products. I wrote it there, you know, forever living products that I would like, you know, uh, to work with the person. If you are, you know, open minded and you're coachable, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I wrote something like that. And guess what, you know, this is, she, she joined, you know, she sent me a message, you know, the following day, I just saw, I am interested in forever living in my inbox. I said, wow. And I followed that up immediately. When I followed that up, like, really? She said, yes, I quickly, she lives in Germany. She's in Germany. 
She's in Germany for crying out loud. This is social media. Last year, I signed up three to four, four people on social media. You know, one was, you know, referred to me by somebody on social media. And then another one, I spoke to her about nine years ago because immediately I get your contact. I connect with you immediately on social media so that you'll be seeing what I am doing. That's what I do. So and at the end of this, she just said, I'm interested. I want to do, I want to start today. I was like, um, is, it, is it real? You know, that kind of thing. I didn't even know her. And at the end of the day, she just said, I'm interested. I just sent her my link on her own. She registered herself in Nigeria because she said products in Germany, they're too expensive. She registered herself in Nigeria, you know, into Nigeria, you know, bought her products, did four CC in Nigeria that month. And then came to Nigeria two months later, you know, and then took her products with her to Germany, sold everything. Now she's continuing, uh, she, her business, you know, is running, you know, in Germany right now, you know. So social media accounts, you utilize your social media account. This lady is a supervisor in my business now. She called me last week. She said, ah, Sister Victoria, I've not seen my, uh, I saw that, uh, you know, I have so, so, so amount of money in my account now. I said, yes, that's your money. You know, that kind of thing. So utilize your social media, your social media accounts and turn them into money making sources. You know, everywhere right now, you can, you can do so many things, you know. And so let me show you, let me show you how to, sorry. I will soon be rounding up. Sorry. Okay, so let me show you the bigger picture with this illustration now. Okay, so if you are intentional, intention, if you intentionally go out to find prospects every day, at least two people, you are adding two people to your contact list on a daily basis. If you are doing this business part time, you're meant to be doing. Let me just say five to 10 people every day. If you're working and you're still doing forever, that's part-time. You can do five to 10 contacts every day. During your break time, you can go online and make new friends, okay? Or you can maybe drive down to one buka or maybe a restaurant, you know, when you want to eat. You can use the opportunity to meet new people. But I am saying here that if you are intentionally meeting two people every day and you're getting their contacts on a daily basis in a week you would have gotten 14 contacts that's two contacts every day in addition to what you have that's 14 contacts if you multiply that by four and you have that means you have 56 contacts in a month okay because on a weekly basis you're getting 14 people if you multiply it by four weeks that means you have 56 people in a month. At least two out of those people, I'm saying at least two out of these people will either sign up to become a forever business owner or a customer. Multiply 56 by 12 in a year. You have, you know, you have gotten 60, 672 people added to your contact lists. So all you need to do is to continue to expand your contacts. My phone is about breaking because I am getting people's contacts every day. One way or the other, I am converting some of them to customers. And I am not even so good at follow up like that. I am not following them up like the way I should. I am not even doing it professionally. If I have to do it professionally with the contacts I have, oh my goodness, I will have so many people in my team. Okay, so what I'm saying is add two people at least every day to your contacts. In a year, you'd have gotten 672 people added to your contacts. I have almost seven to 8,000 people on my phone as I talk to you right now. And my intention is to get it to 200, I mean 20,000 and more. Okay, so it's a numbers game. It is a numbers game. The more contacts you get, the more likely you get people to sign up. The more, the more you do it, the better you become. And what you become eventually 
is what will attract people to you. It gets to a stage that you don't need, you know, you are not going to be doing so much because you have built credibility. Because people now know you, they like and trust you, they believe in you, okay? They will now start coming to you on their own. And let me tell you, sometimes things will change for some people. Maybe they are working now and the job is paying them so well. Maybe one day they sack them from their jobs. They will remember you spoke to them about forever. If you are always in, con in constant uh, communication with them, they will always come back to you, okay? So things can change for anybody. So don't give up on anybody at all. Anything can happen. Three, two weeks ago, one week, at, at least, you know, like for some days now, I've got three people who left my business and they're back. So things, things are changing. They will come back, okay, to you. And so, um, yeah, so we learn by doing in our business. And later you start doing without even knowing. For me right now, it's a part of me now. It has become a part of me. I was um, at a club, not uh, the other kind of club, you know, where club where, you know, we have uh, recreational things, sports and all that. I was there and we we're having lunch and there was a lady sitting just almost opposite me. And then the next thing I was like, I said hi to her. I was like, do I really like her? Should I talk to her? You know, that kind of thing. So I select the kind of people I want now. Because if you're putting, you know, like your face is tight, I, I, I might approach you. If I say hi to you and you are like, you don't respond very well, just leave it. So I said hi to her and she responded. And then the next thing, you know, as I was about leaving, I said, should I talk to this lady? And I now asked her, I said, hi, sis, I'm about going. So how are you? Do you live around here? Then she now said, yes, she lives in Ikoi. I said, oh, really? Nice. Okay, that's, you know, I'm coming from the mainland. She said, okay, wow, that far. I said, yes. Then we got talking. Then I asked her, what do you, I asked her, I said, what do you do? She said she's into ticketing or something like that. So by the time we finished talking about it, to cut the story short, she said, um, you know, we got talking. And then the next thing, you know, because the reason why I started that conversation, that day I wasn't really in the mood. But most times, you know, you do things that you don't even feel like doing. Just do it. That's our business. So I was like, if I don't do it, my conscience will worry me till tomorrow. And my conscience will be saying, if you have spoken to Hannah, you don't know if she's a potential diamond. You don't know if she's a potential customer. And you did not talk to her. And then sometimes, like, I hear the voice of God saying that, you know what? If the person that signed you into forever did the same thing to you, if she didn't talk to you about the business, would you be here? And that was what came to my mind immediately. I like, even my conscience will worry me. So I like, let me just do what I have to do. If she says no or whatever, you know, if she doesn't want to give me a contact, that's fine. I know that I have done what I am supposed to do because it's part of my job description. When you get a job, you have a job description. It is only when people come into forever, they, they just, you know, they, we just do, we do it anyhow, you know. So I just told myself, you need to do this. And I did it before leaving. And then she said, oh, I am so, 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 so person's down line. Ah, I just said, no, I just washed my hands off. Like, but at the end of the day, she still gave me her card. She said, who knows, you might, you might, that she's not serious in the business and all that. But, you know, I just said, well, I left. And she gave me her contacts. I still collected her contact as well you know, that kind of thing. But I did what I was supposed to do. And that is what we all are supposed to do. Collecting contacts everywhere we go. Collecting people's numbers. That is what we are supposed to do. Okay? So imagine if you continue to do this. One day you just do it without knowing. If, and it becomes a habit with time. You just start to do it without anybody reminding you to do those things anymore. So just do it anyway. So you can become a master, you know, a master in finding prospects. When you become a pro, the business will work more for you, I tell you. Okay? And this is the time. Recruiting is booming right now. 
so many people are losing their jobs so many people are cutting down on maybe what they eat at home and they need extra income recruiting is booming this is the time for forever this is the time for forever diamonds if you're listening to me put it in that recruiting is booming let us go and recruit let us go and find people put it in the chat box recruiting is booming okay so go out there show out and get those contacts give value Keep in touch. When you provide value, value will come back to its original owner. It will not leave you. So keep giving. Jab, 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 jab. Keep giving, 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 giving. We are givers. When you continue to give, one day you will ask and you will get, I tell you. So you can do it. Little by little, your team starts to build up. And the numbers actually don't lie. They don't. The numbers don't lie. Sorry. Okay. So picture of me shining my 32 <laughs> at a trade fair. Okay. At this trade fair, I didn't sell anything. I went for um, international. Um, I went for a school. Sorry. I went for a school event. I went for a school event. They were doing uh, internal inter house sports or something like that. They were doing inter house sports, and I, I I went to this place, and I didn't sell anything. But people were coming to my table. Oh, forever amazing! No, oh, thank you for keeping on the lights. They were talking everything. I was getting contacts from people when they come. I said, "Don't worry, it's just I have I had my notebook. Can you put your number here for me?" Can you put your number? I got 30 contacts from here. And from that 30 contacts, I tell you, I converted three from there. They are my customers today. I have aloe gel drinkers from there. I have those who buy deodorants from me. I have another one that is constantly on uh, supplements to maintain um, her heart and everything. Okay, so it's amazing. Our business is fun. All you need to do is work the business. It is work. This is work. When you work it, the work you are doing now, you might not be seeing anything. The work you will do later, you, the work you will not even do later, you will see the reward. That is our business. Okay, so um, yeah, sorry, I, I need to, I'm almost rounding up. Sorry, something is covering my, yeah. Okay, so there are people everywhere. That's what I want to say. So you don't have any excuse for not becoming a success in the business. You got no choice. You don't have any reason, no excuse. If I can do it as an introvert, as a shy person, some people see me and think, oh, Victoria is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am this kind of person that I love my space so well. But you know what? I just have to do what I have to do because something is pinching me. There's somewhere pinching me in my shoes. And I got to do this. I need to do it to be able to, you know, get the things that I want to get in my life so that I can also impact those that are like me. Okay? So if I can do it as an introvert, becoming an extrovert in the process, then you too can. All you need to do is to change your mindset and your life will change as long as you take the necessary action that is required. Your life will definitely change. So there are people in the market, go to Oshodi. Sometimes I see all the places, bus stops everywhere, people all over. I am asking myself, Victoria, are you doing this business? I am supposed to be out there collecting contacts, go to computer village. There are people there. There are people shopping everywhere. In church, people are praying, God, please give me money. God, give me an opportunity. And you are standing beside this person and you are in forever. And you didn't share this opportunity with the person. So let us share the opportunity. People are praying. Who knows if you are that person's destiny helper there are people at the gym there are people in the mosque they need this opportunity 
that team member that you have that is doing well today, if somebody didn't talk to her, if you did not talk to her, would the person be here? Okay, so we need to do this. This is a call to action. This is a call to action for all of us. So, and I want, you know, I am closing now. What I want to say is that read and be blessed with these four books. They've, they've impacted my life. I've read these books over and over and over and over again. I mean, Go Pro by Eric Worre. Number one. Number two, prospecting rules. The moment I came back into forever, I told myself, I am going to invest in my personal development. I am going to invest in myself. Because you know what? When you invest into yourself, nobody can take it away from you. If you lose every other thing, nobody, nobody, that thing that is deposited in you, nobody can take it from you. Okay? So, and I read these books. Till today, sometimes when I open it or sometimes when I am somewhere, I, I will remember something that I read in the book. Okay, so this is, this. the second one is Prospecting Rules by Ross Mac, McNeil. Yeah, okay. And then the third one is The Prospecting Game by Wes Linden. It was in this book that I read, you know, about somebody a dog that was sitting on the nail a rusty nail the dog sat on the rusty nail for two weeks this neighbor somebody moved into the neighborhood and he found out that this dog has been moaning moaning for two good weeks the the, the person that moved into that neighborhood the neighbor now went there and asked the owner of the dog this dog has been moaning for two weeks why haven't you done something about it you know what is the issue with the dog? And the owner of the dog said that the dog is sitting on a rusty nail, that the nail is not painful enough for the dog to stand up. That if it is so painful, the dog will stand up. Some people are in this business. Things are not going so well in your family, financially, health-wise. Some certain things, you can't get money to do some things. And yet, you are still sitting down on that rusty nail. Stand up and go do something that can, you know, give you that financial freedom, okay? So don't be like the dog that is crying, sitting down and moaning for weeks without standing up. If it is painful enough, the dog would have gotten up. That was what the, the owner of the dog said. So this is what I want to say today, that. Go get all of these books and be blessed. And the fourth one is Dig Your Well Before You Are Tested by Mark Yanel. Go, I met this man in GoPro in Las Vegas some years ago. After training, Mark, uh, Harvey McKay, sorry, Harvey McKay came to sit beside me. I've been mentioning Mark Yanel, Mark Yanel all the while, I don't know. Mark Yanel was written, um, he was the one that wrote uh, my first year in network marketing. So I'm so sorry. Let me correct it. But this is Harvey McKay. And this man finished training. He wrote the book, Dig Your Well Before You Are Tested. You know, he 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 finished training in, you know, on the stage in GoPro and he came back to sit beside me. I didn't even know. I didn't even take pictures with him. You know, I was still very young in the business. So, you know, by now I would have, you know, been showing this picture all around. You know, that kind of thing is, is the profile is good for our business, right? You know, so he wrote this book, Dig Your Well Before You Are Tasty. Build the relationships before you start asking for help. This is what he's saying. A, a lot of us just want to speak to people now and just for me, the whole network marketing or forever living, how, you know, Rex builds forever living, where the company is and all that. That is not how to go about it, you know? Build the relationship, get the contacts, okay? And then build relationships with the people because when they like you, they trust you and believe in you, there's no way you show them something that they will not come to support you. So thank you so, so much and have an amazing night. I hope I've been able to, you know, impact somebody tonight. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.